The government has decided to merge various commissions and committees with existing ministries in an attempt to improve and streamline administration. The Lao National Committee for Special Economic Zones, or NCSEZ, previously under the Prime Minister's office, is now under the Ministry of Planning and Investment. The National Leading Committee for Rural Development and Poverty Eradication, previously under the Prime Minister's office, is now under the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. Political Grassroots Building Affairs, previously under the National Leading Committee for Rural Development and Poverty Eradication, are now the responsibility of the Party Central Committee's office. The National Commission for Drug Control and Supervision is now under the Ministry of Public Security. The National Committee for Business Improvement, previously under the Prime Minister's office, is now under the Ministry of Finance. An official ceremony to announce the restructuring was held on Wednesday, June 15, at the Prime Minister's office. The restructuring came after the new government took office following the approval by the National Assembly in April that replaced the old cabinet who completed its five-year term. Last month, the government also merged some state bodies with new mandates assigned in order to avoid overlapping among state departments. According to the new assignments, the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry takes a sole management for all kinds of forests. Previously, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment also shared their responsibilities. The Ministry of Energy and Mines takes sole management mandate for all mining. Previously, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment also shared their responsibilities. Land management and land title insurance affairs remain under the management of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, while land tax collection falls under the Ministry of Finance responsibility. Clearance of an exploded ordinance or UXO, previously under the NLCRDPA, now falls under the mandate of the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare. The Ministry of Home Affairs takes sole responsibility for the three built devolution directive. The new construction is adjusted in accordance with guidance made by the Party Politburo, the Party Secretariat, as well as the Prime Minister's decision. During the ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Somdi Dongdi turned the relevant ministries to a survey improving their structure in line with the merging, then submit the new structure to the government for approval so those newly merged bodies with the ministry can perform their mandates. <laughs> the new structures must be streamlined to ensure effective performances. There are 18 ministries and three ministry-equivalent organizations. 